you know what is the most common question i get from different people in my different interactions with them that shashank you are working in the data domain you are working as a data engineer it's been more than 6 plus years so if i am someone who is not too much into the coding i don't belong to the cs stream i don't know programming or you can say i don't have a passion to work in any job profile where too much coding is required then is there any kind of job role or job profile available in the data domain where we can say no coding or very least amount of coding is required and my answer for all such type of question is always yes so if you are also someone who belong to such type of domains like ba bsc bcom bca or any sort of non tech domain and you are aspiring data professional and one thing which is bothering you that i don't want to code then you should watch this video till the very end because i will be talking about such job profiles under the data domain where approximately zero coding or max to max 0 to 20% coding is required and i will be talking about the skill sets which you need to acquire to get into these job roles so make sure you don't miss any part of this video and when i'm saying that no coding or least coding that means i'm talking about the hard code programming means the data structures algorithm or writing complex programs on daily basis to get your job done or to uh, create anything related to data so don't take any otherwise meaning of it because whatever i am saying i'm saying based on my personal experience and professional experience and sometimes based on the company and the nature of that company these things might change here and there as well so whatever i'm talking about that is going to be my general and most common perception what i have seen in the industry so far with respect to these job profiles and before starting with the actual topic if you are someone who is the aspiring data professional and want to get into the data engineering data analytics data scientist data visualization tableau power bi python these type of job roles in good product based companies with a good salary package and i'm pretty sure you haven't checked out my most affordable industry oriented and project based boot camps on www.growdataskills.com which is my own platform so if you want to upskill in the data domain and achieve your dream without any prerequisite then this is the thing which you should look for proper live classes and continuous doubt support by me and my other amazing mentors in the short amount of time you will be able to learn everything from the basic to advanced without spending thousands or lakhs of your hard earned money recently we have launched the combo packages of our self paid boot camps where in just a tiny amount you will be getting the access of multiple full fledged courses our students are cracking job worth 25 plus lpa and 50 plus lpa so what are you waiting for visit www.growdataskills.com link is also given in the description amazing offers are going on enroll yourself right now and upskill yourself in the data domain all right so these are the four job profiles i was talking about first one is the data analyst second is the business analyst then bi engineer fourth one is the data quality analyst so let's talk about them one by one and the kind of skill set you actually need there so first is the data analyst right their role is definitely very very important when it comes to any company which is working in the data domain because these are the one who will be doing the actual data representation doing the statistical analysis finding the patterns out of it so that business can grow and you can deliver the meaningful insights to your stakeholders so the kind of skill set which data analyst actually required to crack the good companies especially the product based companies the sql which is the bread and butter at least for all these job profiles which are listed down here so you should have a really good expertise in it that means basic to advanced level just applying the group by joins is not going to be sufficient next is the data visualization so for the data visualization you should know these trending dashboarding tools like the tableau and power bi next is the python or r programming language so in the beginning i mentioned here when i'm talking about the coding part means it is not going to related with the hard code dsa or high level of programming no because the role of data analyst is much more into the data analytics so these people should know that how to uh, process the data and how to analyze the data using the data libraries because python and r have a very very rich support of these type of data libraries so using these programming languages you are actually going to analyze the data with the help of the libraries not doing the hard code programming there so you should have a 
very basic to medium level of idea about these programming languages if you know about it that is good enough and mostly in your job or day to day activities you will be able to learn a lot more about it so in the beginning i can definitely say uh, 0 to 20% and in my personal and professional experience itself i have seen many data analyst who have not even worked on python or r because most of their activities are accomplished by these sql dashboarding tools excel statistics that's it so depends what kind of work opportunity you are going to get there but 0 to 20 percent is fair enough to say for the data analysis next is the ms excel again for the data analysis and last is the statistics because you will be doing these type of statistical analysis applying all those things on the data so that you can find the meaningful insight out of it and now let's talk about the business analyst job profile which again sounds very similar to data analyst and this is the reason most of the time people get very very confused between the actual responsibilities of a data analyst and the business analyst so first let me help you to understand it with a short example so that you can get the clear understanding let's say there is a retail company where a data analyst might analyze the sales data to identify trends patterns and forecast future sales and provide recommendations on which product to stock more based on the historical sales data analysis on the other hand in the same retail company a business analyst might work on understanding the challenges of supply chain process gathering the requirements from the different stakeholders which can optimize the supply chain process based on the insights provided by the data analyst so this is the actual difference between these two job profiles so hope next time you won't get confused now let's look at the skill sets which you need to become the business analyst so first and the foremost is requirement analysis because this is going to be your primary task next is excellent data domain and business understanding then coming to the data modeling part they should also be good in the sql as i said basic to advanced level they should be good in the data visualization like the tableau and power bi at the end ms excel for analyzing and visualizing the data now coming to the next job profile which is bi engineer or you can say business intelligence engineer so to become a bi engineer what type of skill set you need to acquire first you should be good in the data warehousing the concepts of it and what are the different data warehousing services which are popular in the industry like snowflake which is very demanding nowadays next is the etl tools so being a bi engineer you will be working on these type of uh, etl processes and for that one you won't be doing the extensive codings like the data engineers but you will be mostly using the enterprise level tools which is informatica talent ssis next is the tableau power bi click view for the data visualization part again sql going to be the bread and butter for these people as well next is the no sql databases because when it comes to the etl like the source and target can be any system and most of the time it is going to be any data warehousing service or transactional database or the no sql databases so these people should have a really really good idea about it and the last profile in this league is the data quality analyst again one of the most important part because when it comes to the software development we know that there is a testing profile or the quality analyst or a qa engineer type of job profile because they have to test the product before shipping it to the customer but what about the data analysis do we actually have some sort of test some sort of quality analysis going on there or not so this is the job profile in front of you so we do the data quality analysis so now let's look at the important skill sets which you need to acquire to become a data quality analyst first is the sql and database management because most of the time your transformed data is going to be into these systems so you should be good in querying that data and writing those type of queries which can give you the differences between the expected one and the actual one okay next is the data profiling tool because you will be doing the data profiling for that one like ibm infosphere informatica data quality and talen next is the data cleaning tools like open define trifacta Another one is the data quality management softwares for example Atacama Melissa Data Data Ladders Data Match Enterprise next is the ETL tools like SSIS Pentaho Talent and 
MS Excel again for the data analysis, data visualization and the proper data visualization tools like Tableau and Power BI. So these are the four job profiles which are the best suited for all such type of folks who belong to a non-tech BCom, BA, BSc, BCA. So I'm pretty sure you can understand that why I was saying that the least amount of coding is required in this one. So if you just put a little bit of your hard work and you acquire the uh, recommended skill sets then within few months you will be able to crack these type of job profiles so that was pretty much i had to share with all of you in this video i'm pretty sure you have found this video insightful if yes then like this video in the big numbers and if you found this video very interesting then make sure to share it as well in your circle because there are a lot of people who need such type of information because they also want to kickstart their career but they actually don't know about these job profiles so make sure you share these videos so that we can spread the awareness together and let me know in the comment section which job profile you want me to talk in detail and basically to cover the roadmap for 2024 let me know i will definitely bring that video as soon as possible and before ending this video there is another important announcement that in this weekend we are going to conduct a two-day completely free workshop for all the aspiring data scientists so in day one we will be covering the fundamentals of data science and in day two we will be covering a end-to-end -end working project of data science so this is going to be very exciting the free registration link has been given in the description so make sure to register yourself for this workshop very very quickly and learn everything related to data science in this workshop at zero cost so i will see you guys really really soon with another interesting video till then just keep exploring data